Hello again, I'm PMC317 and this is episode 3 of the Clouds Right Horse Let's Play Battletech. Um, last episode we played our first mission as a independent mercenary company and we did some upgrades and work on our mechs and leveled up some of our mech warriors. Then we took a contract to go to Bellerophon and work for the local government uh, hunting down and destroying a lance of mechs. Um, we've arrived at Bellerophon and we still have 15 days to go before we are ready to roll. So we're just going to run the timeline um, until that happens. Uh, if I may just jump ahead in the video if no pop-ups occur. Blackjack is finished and soon the Shadowhawk and Claymore will be ready to go as well. Cool, okay. So now we can launch the contract. We're going to be only running three mechs because our Vindicator is still work in progress, but we need the money before the end of the month, so let's go. Okay, so we've got our Shadowhawk, we've got our Blackjack, and we've got our Spider. Crew-wise, I'm going to go down because I want the experience. We're going to put a Glitch in the Shadowhawk. Actually, no, we're going to put Bear Moth in the Shadowhawk, and then we'll put Medusa into the Spider, because he needs the experience. Decker is already fallen across the board, Medusa is not. And then we will deploy. Mech Warriors, prepare for combat. Okay, so I was slightly wrong just then, and we're not being hired by the local government, we've been hired by the Free World League to fight the local government. So it says here that the intelligence confirms there is a lance of local government military units operating in below fall within a region we control. All Maric operations are at risk as long as this lance is allowed to move unimpeded. Hunt down the enemy lance and eliminate it. And our XO says that this is a straightforward battle. Finding a military lance in a backwater world like this should be no challenge at all. So let's roll. Command interface initiated. Jenna. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep Move the order received. Jenna at a distance to reduce its likelihood of coming and punching me. Roger that. A head hit. Excellent. Get another one of those might be able to kill it. Moving to position. We are going to have to punch them. But at the moment, <laughs> we are not really in a position to do that. So, I'm going to take a chance on it. 
It's really low hit probability because of all these movement pips and the cover, but... Copy that. Yeah, there we go. It's reduced its chance of evading. Missed. Waiting for orders. Targeting for an alpha strike. See, Locust uh, made a blast. Hard to hit, but when you do hit them, they tend to come apart. Attempted to have a the Locust, the claimant. Showing minor damage. Receiving you. Target's taken a critical hit. If we knock it over, it might kill the pilot. But to be honest, it's so badly damaged and then further damage we do, it's just gonna destroy. See if they've been doing that more. Yep. Spending their time running and shooting rather than uh, trying to melee. Be in a much better position. Copy that. I'm going to shoot at the focused because the gen has got there again. One less target. Yeah, we don't have to worry about any more reinforcements. Ready for orders. Right now, so I think this will be a nice and quick, quick and easy payday.
precision strike. Let's see if we can do that. Taking the shot. Keep it up and I'll make sure a lot more work comes your way. Destroy local government lands, success. Pay out 141,950 sea builds, plus two with the Free Worlds League, and we've gone up to 15 for the Ministry Review Board. The mechs are fine, some armor loss, and spotted in blackjack. Um, I'm going to be able to the board, and two mech builds. New cell pressure right now. The gen is actually quite nice at the moment. So I'm gonna take a jet out, of course, typically we get the locust piece. Um, but we did also get an LRM5 and an SRM4, so basically if I ever manage to salvage enough to get a locust, I just immediately sell it because I hate them. My least favourite mech. We're gonna need to do some mech repairs before our next contract boss. Can't go into combat like this. See me in the mech bay when you're ready. Okay, let's go down to the mech bay then. Have a look. Okay, so Blackjack is fine, the Shadowhawk is fine, the Spider is fine. I'm not entirely sure what they're about there, but okay. And the Vindicator will finish up in 19 days. Let's have a quick look and see if there's any contracts available. Okay, so that's on Detroit, and that is on Bellerophon. So, <laughs> we could now work for the planetary government. And they will give us potentially 221,000. This, yeah, let's do that. There's no travel time required. Um, so we could just go straight into it. The pay is better. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's negotiate for this job. Let's see, so we could have two bits of salvage. Uh, three bits of salvage. Let's go for one piece of salvage picked and four extra. Um, and 170,000 sea bills. Yes. Okay. We are apparently a competent mercenary unit. Now, Spider has got. S the Spider. Let's start again. <laughs> Medusa has built up some experience. I want to get him some more, so we'll keep him in there. And we're going to swap. Actually, we're not going to swap the Behemoth. Behemoth and her Shadowhawk is a good combination, so we'll just deploy it as is. Okay, so the local government says, We operate a battle mech repair facility on Bellerophon. This base is critical to our mech operations in the system, and we believe Canopian forces are planning an assault. We'd like you to protect the facility, and if an attack comes, hold off the assault until our forces can arrive and relieve you. Darius says they're putting us between the hammer and the anvil, Commander. A mech repair facility is a juicy target. It is, but I'm confident we can cope. Command interface initiated. As expected, Commander, it looks like the security duty is about to get hot. We're tracking multiple incoming hostiles of unknown types. Hold the base, keep the buildings upright, and then we get paid. The Viera out. Okay. Waiting for orders. So we need to keep the buildings alive, uh, which means we need to get into position to head off that lot. Um, so let's do this. Position confirmed. Survive. This is going to actually be quite tricky to get make sure all of those succeed, but 
do I have meds? New sensor contact. We have a med. Okay. And we are out of position, really. Orders. Well, Moving out. Eyes on with my oh, two light bulbs. Three light bulbs. Okay. We can't see them, we can't shoot at them, so we're going to brace. Roger. This is where the LR ends. I knew there was a reason I kept the LR ends on the Shadow Hawk. Okay, we've got a straight line of sight to the Locust. So let's dump our shots. And we we'll do damage, so. That was definitely worth doing. And we're gonna sprint. This way. Full throttle. Any, any damage we can do to it is going to be positive. There's not really anywhere I can go that I'm going to get to. I wouldn't be able to get to my door. So. Acknowledged. Right, I'm going to focus on this locus until we can kill it. Is it just one? Is that what it's doing? Yeah, I think so. Affirmative. I'm picking up a new there. sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Huh. I 
Okay, and let's open up on the locust. All weapons committed. Locust down. Enemy mech destroyed. Now, what's this over here? Good to go. We could death from above actually. But I do want to damage. I'm gonna fit the damage. But it is gonna have some pretty bad effects. Um, let's do it anyway. Why not? Death from above. Okay, so this is a jump attack using piloting still. It gives it, it uh, ignores evasive, hit removes guard, it deals significant damage and stability damage, but we also take leg damage and stability damage because we just jumped on top of an enemy. Here we go. There we go. Basically took the whole I think I hit something good. Way. Take the leg off. Let's try and take the leg off. No. Never mind. Okay. But we have reduced their abilities now. So let's yes, Commander. Bay him off the stamp on this thing. Target neutralized. We're going to have reinforcements in six. Good, good. It's decided to engage in a shooting match with me. Excellent. Damage minimal. Okay, so now... This way. Um, I know I didn't do that with producer, but we do want to do that. Yeah. Okay. Not hugely effective, but with hit chance like that, it, wasn't, it was never going to be. Precision strike to make it down there. And 
initiative level. Let's see if we can call it out as well. Hmm, potentially. Yeah. Ah, what's this? There's another one. Shots about, but what's up, boss? Right, okay. Need to do something about that. Copy that. What is it? Is it Jenna? Taking the shot. I'm here to try and kill this thing because the gen acted. Firing. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Which is a big event. Right. We're going to claim to move out here. And I have a crack at this gen. No, I lost that. But my heat is concerned. Take the lasers off and just use my kinetics. And I'm also going to precision strike because that will increase the chance of hitting. Not by a great deal, but enough that at least one of them should statistically hit. C2s, but the medium lasers are going to have a better chance to hit. 
Really good hits there. We've injured the pilot. We've knocked the torso off. Enemy mech. Critical damage. damage detected. Good. Really good. Where's it going? Good, good. The more shots of my mechs, the less shots of the buildings. And that's what I'm after. Receiving you. It. Let's see if you can do something with this spider. Position confirmed. Zap it again. Precision strike, I think. Let's see if we can call it out. So the torso is only on five, so if we hit it, it'll die. Roger that. Go down. Did you do We've actually destroyed the Vanguard as well as the Now we I think, destroy this Jenna, and that might be it. I don't know for certain. Waiting for orders. I'm gonna get the ammo to shoot. The Move Jenna, order received. Firing all weapons. Hostile removed. Okay. There's at least one enemy vehicle out there somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. This is quite concerning actually because it's definitely out there. I'm just not sure where. to move over here, I guess, because we did come from this direction. We might be able to spot them. No? Okay. We'll brace it up. Where is this thing? Ah, here he is. Oh, she is. Well then, here they are. That's a better option. Standing by. Double time. Let's go. Okay, so now we know that there's another enemy vehicle on that over here. We can actually direct the forces from the air. Although, in all honesty, I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually going to be able to get there in my blackjack. Because although it's got range, it's a fucking great big mountain. Anyway. Ah, good. Local government reinforcements are inbound, Commander. We are done here. Good job. Mission successful. So I didn't manage to kill the last vehicle, but do one mission. Let's see if that makes any difference to our pair. Okay, so all buildings survived, so we got an extra 20% bonus. We destroyed the Vanguard, so we got 10% bonus, and we successfully defended the mech repair base. Well done, Commander. We obviously placed our faith in the right mercenary company. I'll let you know if we have any other work for you. Good. 222,000 seabirds. Excellent. So, Magistracy of Commodus doesn't like us a little bit. Um, I mean, they're still, they're still good with them. They're, just, they're a bit left. Mercenary Review one, however, 20 rated. Excellent. Okay, so our spider's taken some internal damage. That's going to need some repairs. The Shadowhawk and the Blackjack have lost quite a bit of armour. We've had four mech kills, that's a full dance, and two vehicle kills. There's a Behemoth doing most of the work there. Okay, uh, we've already got some Jenna salvage, so I want some of that. Um, and then the rest of it is just ammunition, guns, things like that. <sighs> Another locust. We're quickly going to end up with a locust, I think. And the spider parts. Spiders are okay. Uh, Jenna is one of my favourite, like Max, because it's a little bit heavier, so you can put a little bit more stuff on it. And we got a free laser, so you know, not the worst.
contact the Rimward Frontier. Alright everybody, gather round. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts. And I might, I repeat, might have caught us something. Who's the client? Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message, but she claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. She says she's got a big job lined up. She wants us for it. Us specifically. She called the commander out by name. <laughs> I guess the McLeod name still means something out in the magistracy. I'd like to believe that's true, boss, but I'm not sure I want to bet my life on it. You're certain this client isn't really a bounty hunter? Because I can lift off about five different banks that all love to repossess this ship. We're shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review board's back, yeah. Hell no, I'm not certain. But for what it's worth, I can confirm she's rich. She reached out to us with a priority HPG message. Those things ain't cheap. Well, we'll meet with this new mystery client, but that's all we'll do until we've heard her pitch. That's fair, Commander. We need to follow up on this, but that doesn't mean we can't be cautious. A meeting is just a meeting. And what's the worst that could happen? Our new client vents us out the airlock, and our corpses spend the rest of forever tumbling through the icy vastness of space? Thanks for that delightful image, Yang. Look, Joanna, I'll admit this is sketchy as hell, but it's also the best lead we're likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course to Bellerophon. The client will be waiting. The contract to meet with our Canopian mystery client is ready for review in the command centre. Take a look when you're ready, Commander. Also, our mech warriors have picked up a fair amount of combat experience over these last few drops. Head to the barracks to review their dossier and direct their training. Oh, and don't forget, you can check on the state of our finances from the terminal in your captain's quarters. If you ever want to change our mercenary company's name or symbol, you can do that from there too. Okay, so luckily enough, we're on Bellerophon, so that's good. Let's have it head over to the barracks and see what we can do. Right, so... Yes, Commander. Bellerophon's got 1,200 XP. Um, I think we're going to increase her gunnery, uh, because gunnery is important for her. Mech warrior training complete. We've got 800 XP, which isn't quite enough to get our piloting up. Commander. Gap is on 200. I hear ya. Which is on 400. What do you Medusa's need? is on 1,100. So we'll give him gunnery. So now both Decker and Medusa are at four across the board. Training complete. Okay, we'll have a quick look at the mechs, because I think someone we're going to need some repairs. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to repair the spider, um, the Shadowhawk, and the Blackjack are all good to go already. Our Vindicator's 19 days away. The spider's 21 days? Can you repair? That doesn't make sense. It needs to be repaired. In storage we've got two bogus parts. Uh, interestingly I've got one M and a one S. And we've got a two out of three JR7 parts. Um, component wise we've got quite a bit. So what I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to actually go to the uh, hiring hall, or the store rather, and see if we can, oh wow, if we had the money we could get ourselves a quick draw. And we've got a centurion, three centurion parts, so we could buy a centurion for one and a half million, but it would be more than we've got. It's not worth that. They don't have any genus, so. Ooh, they do have some better SRMs, but we don't have any SRM vehicles yet, so. Is it worth buying them and hanging on to for that price? Yeah, why not? This one in particular, plus two damage and plus one stability damage, so. And this one plus four, so yeah, we'll buy that. New weapon systems available. Okay. Right. And in the higher one, let's have a look and see if there's any good mercenaries that we could buy. The higher battle cry. So she's nice and cheap. Um, yeah, why not? It's always worth having some extras in. So that's higher battle cry. Marek Commoner. Free Worlds League makes no strong distinction between Commoner and Noble, but growing up as part of the middle class in the League is still a daily struggle. But we'll hire her, so it's 29,700, 18,000 fee, and we can put her on the lights and up her um, skills a little bit. Yeah. Okay. New mech warriors available. Now let's have a look at our contracts. Uh, benefactor, priority mission. Travel to Bellerophon. We get 33,000 just for doing that. Our mystery client is waiting for us at Bellerophon, Commander. Like I said, I can't personally vouch for her, but she's rich and her credentials seem to check out. Benefactor, in orbit, Bellerophon. 
Mr. Oliviera, thank you for honouring my request to meet. I am Anna Maria Centrella. You've heard of my family, I'm sure. Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Canopian royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve the Mercenary Review Board. They already know I want to hire you. I piqued your interest, Commander MacLeod? Certainly, Lady Centrella. We wouldn't be here if you hadn't. I'm pleased to hear it. The job I have for you is a relatively simple one. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I will pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you the breathing room you've been looking for. How do you know about... you know what, it doesn't matter. Just tell us what we're supposed to be recovering. This. Lady Centrella's image is replaced on screen by a grainy photograph of an enormous grounded dropship. Ramshackle structures cling to it like barnacles. She's a derelict vessel, an Argo, one of only two ever made. For over 200 years, she's been lying in state on Axilus, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you are going to bring her to me. Yeah, and how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalised for parts. But look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I mean, I'm as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. Be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Vertinen. I have an engineering staff on hand to attend the Argo. Their leader, Dr. Farah Murad, has built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. You'll find a jump ship waiting for you at Alloway. It'll carry you to the pirate moon where you'll clear a path to the crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go to work in the derelict, and you'll protect them until the work is done. Then this should all be well within your capabilities, Commander MacLeod. Unless I've come to the wrong company, of course. <laughs> you don't work on the frontier without learning how to deal with pirates. Well, you can handle the job. No sweat. I can see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there'll be more work waiting for you upon your return. But Mr. Oliviero will never find you a better opportunity than the one I'm offering, Commander MacLeod. I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, Joanna. We were looking for a lifeline, and I think this is as close as we're going to get. Okay, Lady Centrella, you've got yourself some mercenaries. Very good. I'll forward your contract to Mr. Oliviero. Your reputation as a freelancer is well known within the magistracy, Commander MacLeod. I hope you live up to it. The contract for Centrella's derelict recovery job is ready for review in the command centre, but we should follow up when you think we're ready. We're definitely not ready. We're two mechs down. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to have a quick look and see if there's any other jobs we can do in the meantime. So this is a pirate lance on Detroit, within a region that the Magistracy of Canopus controls. This includes travel time to Detroit of 17 days. All Canopian operations are at risk as long as this lance is allowed to move unimpeded. Patrol the area, find the enemy lance, and eliminate it. Yes, well we'll take this job. Most of the travel time we can spend repairing our mechs. Amelia Cortez, Magistracy of Canopus. Commander, I hope you're in good health. This contract may interest you. It fits your skills and the strengths of your company. With any luck, we'll both get what we want out of this job. And what I want is 134,000 sea bills. One chosen and three random salvage parts. This will repair our reputation with the magistracy and make the local pirates significantly more upset with us, but eh. By your command. It's off we go. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Financial report. Okay. Operating expenses, quarter of a million sea bills. Current funds, just under a million. And morale steady at 25. So we've got enough funds to run for three months. And we need to be making quarter of a million sea bills a month in order to carry on operations. I'm going to keep everything at normal because we don't have the cash, the ready cash, to cope with an increased pay. And equally, I don't want to reduce morale, so... Extension. Banging noises draw you to the shared mech warrior barracks, where you find Medusa disassembling one of the leopard's internal walls. There are already several panels neatly stacked beside him. He pauses, then explains, there's a few cubic metres of dead space back here. 
I'm making room so we can stretch without hitting the banks. As reasonable as this sounds, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. However, Medusa is a technician, so I'm going to order him to make the change easily reversible. You look over Medusa's work. This is a temporary change, yes? Medusa blinks and quickly nods. Yes, Commander. You say the word and I can have this back the way it was in 90 minutes. 120 tops. Good as new. You nod. Good. Carry on. However, in the future, get sign off before you start anything like this again. Clear? Yes, Commander, he says. Morale increased by one. Good. Okay, so we've arrived at Detroit. Um, we still have a few days before we're ready to go, so... Are we ready to proceed with our current contract? Not yet. Um, four days' time, we can... Uh, we can go. We're going to end the video once we are ready to go, um, and then next episode, next week, we'll see what happens on Detroit. So, if you have enjoyed this video, um, please do leave a like and subscribe, and as always, if you have anything to say about the video, or me, or anything else, or Battletech the game, do leave a comment. Um, I always read them. I always... That work order you submitted? is complete. <laughs> Work order complete, crew's ready for next job. I always read the comments um, and I do enjoy having a chat with you, the viewer, and seeing, you know, if you've got any complaints or <laughs> queries or anything like that and I can answer them with the best of my ability. So yeah, as I said, like and subscribe and I shall see you tomorrow for some Fortnite. Thank you very much.